President Yoweri Museveni is optimistic that once Uganda's refined sugar production increases, there will be a ready market both locally and throughout East Africa, whose demand for industrial sugar is 150,000 metric tons. That will be almost enough to cover the internal demand. But there's also the regional demand of industrial sugar of 150,000. So I, I will negotiate with the East African countries to buy this sugar, this industrial sugar. And for us here, we are going to put a tax from, from now as soon as possible on the imported industrial sugar. President Museveni was commissioning a U.S. dollar 15 million Chinyara industrial high sugar refinery in Masindi district. President Museveni assured Ugandans of the market for their surplus sugar amounting to 220,000 metric tons out of the 600,000 metric tons produced annually, yet local consumption remains at 380,000 metric tons. Because the deficit they have is much bigger than this surplus. So I am working with them, talking with His Excellency Kenyatta, with Her uh, Excellency uh, Samia. We, that, we think that may be so with, uh, now with Rwanda. We think that issue will be maybe solved. This is still below the local demand for industrial sugar, which ranges from 78,000 metric tons to 90,000 metric tons annually, according to the Minister of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, Francis Mwebesa. Shortly after commissioning the factory, President Museveni said Uganda has been losing 60 million US dollars in importing refined sugar that is used in factories for production of soft drinks, medicines, among other uses, and commended Kinyara Sugar Limited for the step in the right direction. Therefore, that's, here we are, that's why I'm talking of the two factories. The factory of brown sugar, which they, they, they expanded from 60,000 to now 130,000. And now the factory of the industrial sugar. But as you hear... New factories, other factories are also going into the industry. The same factory has expanded its brown sugar production capacity from 60,000 metric tons to 130,000 metric tons. The Minister of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, Francis Mwebesa, says his ministry has licensed six other companies to produce refined industrial sugar and are at different stages of implementation. These include Sinyara Sugar Limited, Sugar Compression of Uganda, GM Sugar Limited, Mayuge Sugar Industries, Kamuz Sugar Limited, and Uganda Crop Industries Limited. This is Sezwa Sugar. He, however, decried the unpredictability of the National Sugar Policy of 2010 and the National Sugar Act of 2020, which doesn't bring enforcement of zoning, leaving farmers unsupported. To address this, my ministry, Your Excellency, is drafting regulations Begin with the registration of sugarcane farmers and ensuring every sugar miller has a nucleus farm. This will ensure the sector is well regulated. The board chairman, Chinyara Sugar Limited, Subjit Singh Rai, thanked the president for the vision and the guidance towards the tremendous progress of the Ugandan sugar industry. He said the expansion and addition of the new production line of refined sugar will not only increase production but also employment opportunities at the factory, whose number of employees has increased from 4,000 to 12,000. The function was attended by, among others, members of parliament from the region, Masindi district leaders, sugarcane outgrowers and religious leaders.